Hi, um, in this video I want to show you how to work with um, masking inside the deform node. So I open up Elemental and I want to um, add an image and open a file. So I I'm going to use an image of um, Bruce Lee. So um, I add an ellipse and select a mask, and then I drag and drop this image inside the ellipse. Uh, so far so good. Um, I set up the deform node uh, by adding a deform. Um, to use this we need some control points. So now we got uh, seven control points and I select the deform um use the set of action skipping that step um, select the control points okay and then I test it to see what happens the graphic doesn't move because it is not uh, inside the deform node so I drag and drop this inside but now you see the masking is disappearing so there are two ways to fix this it's because the deform node is not supporting regions but we can fix this by adding a layer from effects and then uh, drag the ellipse inside this so let's debug and see what happens Oh yeah, and um, um, another way to fix this is to to unparent the image, um, drag and drop the ellipse inside the image, because uh, that uh, this is pre-processing the image before it is drawn to the deform. But now we see the. Uh, and this is um, usually cheaper if you if um, this the resolution of this image is lower than the screen in Stigma because the layer um, has the same screen as Stigma. But uh, when we debug this, we see we don't get the same semi transparency because the um, image doesn't, uh, the deform node it's not working very well with the semi transparent pixels. So if we add this inside the layer, it, it will, it doesn't help because semi transparent pixel in the layer still doesn't work well with the deform node so generally when using the deform node the semi transparency doesn't work so we need to set the brush property of the ellipse to full alpha or, or else will you, you will get some artifacts in the image so let's uh, hide the layer and now we can move this how we want you can uh, save this uh, a tip is that to uh, save this um, as a figure as an element to figure and when you have a matrix layer you can use the import figure action to open 
another figure, so you can attach it to a header or something. Um, <coughs> okay, we want to try this in Elemental, so I'm saving this as Bruce. Here we have it. You can animate the control points like you wish. Um, you can export images and see how the quality will be in, um, on the screen. So <laughs> This is a cool way of uh, creating figures by taking a picture of yourself and then masking yourself and create a head. You can use a kernel instead of an ellipse to get more accurate result. That's the same. That's a kernel here. So if if I choose to change this to a kernel, I can select create curve. And then I get um, a kernel that uh, has the same shape as the lips. So I hide the lips. And now I can adjust the, the curve as I want it. For example, like this, and um, I save it. I go back to Stickman here, and I right click this. Um, figure and select reload figure and now I have some more here ok so this was working with masking in um, um, with the deform node I hope you learned something I am Sven Nielsen the creator of um, the software Stickman Elemental and you will find the download link in the description uh, in this video thanks for watching